whether I'm hearing all what you're saying, I want to repeat my question. You are placing a reliance on a valuation of parcel 11 mm -hmm. that, in my humble opinion, mm -hmm. is misplaced. I am asking you, there is a valuation of three point five million dollars upon which the member well not even the member because nothing that has been shown there indicated the member was involved. I saw the chairman, I saw the various boards. The question is a very simple question. Even assuming all what you are saying is correct, how does that translate to corruption on the part of the member personally and cabinet collectively? That is what I, that's all I want to answer. Mr. Speaker, there are many more issues that we allege that this cabinet... Member, I don't know about what other issues members are alleging. I speak of a very great degree of specificity. What is the corruption that you allege in the transaction based on what you have said? Mr. Speaker, I'm going to repeat myself. There was a valuation that was done in 2013 for exactly the same piece of land, exactly the same piece of land, and almost exactly the same amount of land, saving a part of footpath. <coughs> and that in, in 2013... Remember, you choose to ignore my question. I can only ask you to take your seat, that you shall not respond to my question, and I shall make a determination of this matter on the basis of the facts presented to me. <laughs> Out of an abundance... Of caution. Well, I don't know if you're leaving, member. You, you shall not leave before I make a ruling. I really know you're leaving. I beg your pardon? Go ahead. No, you shall not leave before I make a ruling. Members, the statement that was made, members, 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 the statement that was made on Friday is as follows. We talk about lastly, Mr. Speaker, is this. I am surprised that the Prime Minister would put that, this reference to corruption. So if you want to re really resolve crime in this country, Mr. Speaker, it starts in cabinet. The level of corruption of members in your own cabinet has to be addressed. This situation of Bannon, how could you have a piece of land, Mr. Speaker, that was valued in 2013 at almost $7 million, and in 2021, it was revalued to be at $3.5 million? The crime situation is serious. The government needs to address it in their own cabinet. The Prime Minister keeps on playing this game that is the big, bad, tough guy, and the buck stops with him. We have not seen that, and we have to set the example as leaders. There are too many examples, Mr. Speaker, of members not doing that. Mr. Speaker, I thank you. What is before me is not whether land is valued at 20 million or 60 million, is whether the transaction made in the sale of the land to a client of an attorney whether corruption was attached to that sale. You have not made that case. And I would ask you to... I am the judge in this chamber. And I would ask you to withdraw the statements that I have read. You will not withdraw. Members, I wish to draw your attention to the fact that I have requested the member for Cass Street, for Miku South. Member, you shall not leave yet. Officer, he shall not leave. Officer, he shall not leave. Okay. Members, the member for Miku South will be there subsequently. In this matter of my ruling, I now bring the attention to members. And I draw your attention to standing order 43-4. If a member shows disregard for the authority of the chair.
I now call on I shall now call the member by name as authorized by standing order 43-4. And I now ask this house what sanction, if any, that they wish to place on the Honorable Alan Shastney. Leader of government business. Well, Mr. Speaker, I would love to hear what the options are, but I think in the context of what has transpired, the Honorable Member should be asked again to apologize and withdraw his statement. If not, he should not be allowed into this chamber until he does so. I think it is a fair and reasonable request of him that the member has not proven what he said and therefore he should withdraw and apologize or ask to remain out of the chamber until he does so. But I am freely guided by you as to what are the options we can consider. Such disrespect in the House cannot continue, Mr. Speaker. The, chair, the Chair's discretion is limited only to a maximum of the next sitting. The House has no such limitation. And if you are asking me to put your question to the House, which is that the member, the Honorable Alan Chastney, because the rules do not at this point in time permit me to refer to his constituency because you cannot sanction a constituency, that the Honorable Alan Chastney be asked to withdraw the statements, issue an apology, failing which this Honorable House shall rule that he is not to be allowed within the precincts of the House until he does so. Is that your question, Leader of Government Business? I now put the question that this House do rule that failing to issue an apology and a withdrawal as directed by the Speaker that the Honorable Alan Chastney is not to be allowed in the presence of this Honorable Chamber until such time as this is done. I now put the question, as many as of that opinion, say aye. aye. As many as of a contrary opinion, say no. Madam Clerk, please take note. And the officers of this chamber are to be accordingly directed. And the presence of this house, as you know, extend further than the building.